There's a lot of mullet here. Saw a couple of disturbances right over there. I'm just gonna cast to see what it is. We got lucky in seeing one redfish. We spooked the fella because he snuck up on us before I could even identify him. What it tells me is hopefully that there's gonna be more in the area. We're probably gonna have to blind cast the entire day because the water is entirely too choppy from the high winds that we've got going. Good thing is it kind of like blocks us. It sh We are. There we are. That was a nice thump right there. I'm glad I did the blind cast thing. I told myself you need to cast over there because lots of mullet were getting spooked. Sure enough, there we are, nice red fish. Roadside waterway, baby. This guy's got some muscle. <sighs> Definitely a keeper. Looks to be mid-slot. Dude is strong. There we go. There we are. Look at that beautiful red fish. Paddle tail, one eighth ounce jig head. Perfect for dinner tonight. Doing some redfish tacos with this guy. All right, let's stop playing with our food. We'll get the official measurement and uh, we'll dispatch this fella. Twenty-five incher. Yep, twenty-five inches. All right, buddy. Working with very limited space inside the kayak. It is just such a cramped kayak compared to my other one. It's fast as all heck, but it is super cramped. Um, let's see if we can drop the motor down. To get some room to work with in here. Here we go. That works. buddy seriously thank you for the food that you're gonna provide for us tonight thank you So much, dude. Bleed them out, and we'll uh, continue on our way fishing. Uh, I could have swore I had something to hold my fish. Thank you so much. 
so much, buddy. Yeah, that's going to be the only one that's going to fit today. Um, oh, we want to do this. Turn them sideways. Right there, y'all. We'll probably fit one more, but that should be more than enough for everybody to have two or three tacos. Really don't want to take... Alright, let's see. We really don't want to take more than what we actually need so that guy should do if we catch another then uh, we'll consider it if he's closer to uh, being like 20 and a half something like that 21 inches we're going to keep pushing on seeing if we can identify anything else that's out here in the marsh that lets us know there's reds in the area i've already seen the one and then we caught this fellow because he was spooking some mullet and we did the blind cast thing if you're new to my channel, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Thank you for clicking on today's video. This happens to be my absolute favorite marsh to fish on Galveston Island. We're on the upper Texas Gulf Coast. And uh, the main reason why is because it's close to everything. You don't really gotta go too far to hit this roadside waterway. And it provides plenty of opportunity. Lots of surface area to fish. There's lots of marsh grass out here quite a few places to hide those are reds right over there um, but yeah we're gonna get back to fishing welcome to the channel let's see if we can catch one or two more man I've bumped into probably about five redfish and every one of them I spooked I've only been able to cast on one of them before he knew I was in the area but he saw my lure and didn't even want it and just spooked off a lot of mullet out here the water's getting a little bit cloudier and I don't know how many drifts I've already made in this little back pond area but it, it, it's massive I mean it, it goes forever I just I have not been lucky with being able to get my lure right in front of one of those fellas except for once and he didn't want it really want one more fish for tacos tonight we can make it happen with one but man it's gonna be like we're on a diet <laughs> I don't, uh, I'm a big boy I take big bites stingray right there I've seen lots of those guys out here I mean, there's a ton of them I've never eaten one before though I've heard lots of people eat them and, and they like them where you just take and you cut their wings off and you take like a cookie cutter a circle one press it and turn it into like scallops the pole man scallops as people say I've never tried it I'm pretty sure it's got to be a thing otherwise people wouldn't talk about it I just don't know about you know something like that I can gigging for stingrays it'd be so easy try to do like what the bartenders do an extra pour yeah where did where were they doing that they were like hooking uh, us on the up. carnival cruise oh, she yeah. hooked us up the one time she was the only one that did it she actually did that what? It's about to be a strong drink. No, it's not. Look you at pour, that. You, you, you did like. I mean, double. Pour, There's barely like... anything in there, and I spilt the majority of it on here, trying to be all crazy the way they did on the cruise. Did you buy anything to garnish it? And that is fresh grapefruit juice. You didn't buy anything to garnish it? To yeah, it jalapeno. Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. 
That's good. Yeah, that's good. The, a lot of the spice comes from that vein as well. We just get these seeds out, which are... That tool's working really good for that. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Small cutting board. Here, let's show the fillet. First time that we're gonna make this. So what we've got going on is we took our redfish fillets and cut them into bite-sized portions, little sticks, if you will. And we've got some jalapenos, cheese, flour, egg wash, panko for our breading. And uh, we've also got strips of bacon. All together, what this is gonna make is, I think I said uh, redfish jalapeno poppers, something like that. One thing that I still have to do is the house seasoning. I should have did this already. We'll try to get as much as we can in here. And then as I start working with each and every one of them and move the top layer, we'll uh, season the ones that are down below. But let's get started. So we're going to take... Man, how am I going to do this? I really don't know. I didn't really think it through. So, we'll take our red, red stick fish sticks, put them inside here. And then, what we want to do is take one of our slices of jalapeno, put that in the middle, we'll take a piece of cheese as well, and then the other red fish. And now jump over here, take a slice of bacon. Hopefully we don't need toothpicks because I didn't account for that. I do know that we got them. We have toothpicks. Yeah, but there we go. You wanna use thin bacon, I thought this through, just to make sure that the, the bacon cooks and it gets kind of crispy whenever it comes time to fry these fellas the thin bacon will be able to cook thoroughly instead of chewing some bubblegum. And to help things out, I put the bacon and the fish in the freezer just so that I could slice it better. But there we go right there. Now, maybe we put this in the flour too. And I won't do the I'll skip that step with the redfish since the redfish is going to be in the center. You go to the flour because you want to make sure that the egg wash right here is going to stick to everything. Just like that. Get that egg white off. I think I need it to stay out and then just move it in. Okay. Like that and then into the panko we go. Both of my hands are dirty, but oh well. That held together pretty good. So your toothpicks aren't needed? Then? No, not even. I forgot you were breading it, so you wouldn't need. I just hope that the bacon actually does. Um, it will. Right. And there we are. That's one of many that we got to do, so I'll be right back as soon as we're done with the rest of them. You filming? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I was about to ask, like, are you filming? All right, that's going to do it, y'all. That is it for prepping. We were only able to make, what did we say, 12? Because mm -hmm. we ran out of bacon. But uh, the remainder of the fish will turn into fish sticks. Uh, those are always a crowd pleaser. We just minus the Parmesan. So let's uh, get the remainder of these done. And uh, we'll go ahead and start frying these fellas up. Fish sticks first? Oh. Yeah, we're going to start with the I fish sticks. I thought you forgot. It's one, two... I felt like Count Dracula I mean, ugh, on a Sesame Street episode. Did it hit you? Yeah, I got my foot. 
These are gonna cook like instantly. So I gotta be very fast. Try not to get too, too close. I don't want this to pop you. You have more back there on that plate. Yes, I know. Oh, okay, I, I didn't know. know if you knew. Yeah, like those are already done. Oh, you're gonna drift the grease onto the floor though. That's mm. the bad thing. Yeah, that, that stuff is hot, hot. God, those really cook that quick. Yes, baby, it, it's 400 degrees and it was only supposed to be 375. Mm. So that's why I was like, at least uh, it'll cook and it'll start lowering that temperature before we throw the poppers on there. Dude, come on. What temperature is it? Still 400? It's all the way to the top of the thermometer. All right, so get this out the way. I'm gonna lower That's it. That's beyond 400. Yeah, I know. Okay, so throw some more inside there. Eventually it's gonna lower. It smells pretty fishy for what? I don't think it smells fishy. For clean, that was a brand new oil. It's like clean oil and I smell fish. Oh, I smell like wholesome goodness. Mm. Those are like fish nuggets. Yeah, these are. <laughs> well, at least none of the little fish wasted. No, I wasn't gonna do, ah, this was my intent to use the remainder, like the residual uh, panko to do these right fellas. On. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the temperature dropping, can you see? Very little. Okay, yeah, it'll, it'll do it. Okay, and there goes that. Now it's time to scoop these fellas out. Oh my gosh, I can't do it fast enough. I mean, they're turning to a crisp. It's like they're instantly cooking. Oh wow, yeah they are. What? Like, I was just trying to show how light dark they are. Yeah, maybe we edit this. <laughs> oh, they look good though. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, there goes that. And now we're down to a respectable 375, which is where we want to be for the main course. All right, if all goes well, it's not gonna, the cheese won't melt inside our oil. I think we, it's 508, three minutes maybe, you think? Make sure that bacon gets cooked. That's the only thing that... I have no idea how long. I'm just, I'm winging it. To how hot did you want it to be? About 375. Okay, it's below that though now, but you just dropped that stuff in there, so... One, two, three. Little. We'll cook three of them first and then we'll see how it's gonna go. But I know it's gonna drop, so let's put it back to max sear. I don't see cheese exploding yet. No, I don't either. That's a, so good, that's a sign. good thing. It's usually three minutes. Like when we bought uh, seafood balls from that place in Louisiana, when we were coming back home, uh, we had to, if you were going to deep fry them, I think I you had to I don't remember the name of the place. I don't remember. Don's, Don's Spectacular Meats or something like that. I Famous think it was meats. just Don's Meats. Okay, that's oh, it. Oh yeah, Look that looks that. Done. It's done. It's gotta be, gotta be done. Oh, that looks good though. Yeah, it does. You can see the cheese coming out just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Whoa. Okay. I gotta be careful. I gotta watch my hands. Get a close up. Like that You're about cheese. To lose that bit. That is good. It looks it does good. Look good. That looks damn good. Hopefully they taste good. 
That's so good, y'all. Very basic, but it's really good. I'm gonna try a nugget. Mmm. Maybe we don't even need to add Parmesan. They're really good without it. I think the seasoning helped. I, yeah, I think. Mmm. Aiden! I wish he didn't eat all those pizza rolls. Aiden! Wait, you gotta tell me what you think of the chicken nugget. Good. <laughs> Is that the only response we always get? Good, if you think it's good. Make sure it's not too hot though. It's cooked. It's cooked? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that good? That's good? Did the bacon even get crispy? Mm hmm. Awesome. I'm real worried about the bacon. I got a smoky flavor. Probably because of the bacon. Let me see. Is the fish It's not cooked? spicy though. I want to see what it looks like on the inside. You can't taste Cheesy. the spice from the jalapeno? No. Mm. It's still very hot still. Maybe use like Serrano's. Would it be gross if I dipped it in ketchup? Um, ew. Mm. Why? <laughs> oh, I wasn't filming you. Oh, I got <laughs> Really good, y'all. That's going to do it. Thank y'all so much. We're not actually gonna plate and sit down or anything like that, but just wanted to show y'all something else that y'all can do with the redfish that you catch out there. This fella tastes really great. Thank you so much for watching. For those of y'all that are interested in the gear that I use, that's gonna be linked in my video description down below. Go there and check it out. If you click on the ones that take you to Amazon and you make a purchase, then the channel will earn a small, tiny commission, so we'll appreciate that. Until next time, flat lines.